Here's how to make a simple three chord sequence of C, F and G into a good rock and roll sequence. So I'll just play C, F and G in the same way as we would teach somebody when they're first learning to play the ukulele. So you put either your little finger or your third finger, most people use their third finger, onto the third string, onto the fourth, sorry, onto the bottom string on the third fret and you just play the note. Then you play the F. Then the G. And back onto the C again. Now to make it into a, a rock and roll sequence, you just have to add an extra finger to the notes. I'll show you how to do that. So you play the C. But if you add with your second finger onto the top string on the second fret, onto the what would be an A minor chord, but keep your either your third finger or your little finger on the C, so you're playing C and A minor together, you get So you can start off with the C, then put the A minor on as well. And then if you're playing it a little faster, you just do one down stroke and one up stroke on each of the chords. So you go down and up on the C and down and up on the C plus the A minor. So here we go. And that will start to give you your rock and roll, your rock and roll strumming. So you can start off fairly slowly. it faster. Now when you come to the F, just play the F chord. Just play, play a few strokes of that. But if you now use your third finger and put it below your second finger, which makes the, the D minor chord, So take that third finger off again, play, it becomes F, put it on, it becomes D minor, take it off, it's F, put it on and it's D minor. So in, we'll just play a few Fs and then a few D minors. But if we do just one down stroke and one up stroke on the F, and then follow it with one down stroke and one up stroke on the D minor, it sounds like this. So now we've got the, the C and the A minor, and the F and the D minor. Now if we come to the G, if we play the G. Now, with the G, we add the C chord to the G. So to add the C chord to the G, that's just mainly putting that finger on that string. You can do that by rocking that finger down to cover both those strings. So here we go, there's the D. If you rock it down, you can cover the bottom string as well. So you're playing the D, uh, sorry, the G and the C together. So I'll just play the, the G. Now the G plus the C, and if we do it like before, with two down and two up, so now we've got the, the C and the A minor, and the F and the D minor, and the G plus the C. If we put it all together and then we can play it faster. And that's how you can turn a simple three chord sequence into a, a rock and roll sequence.